Hi, my name is Danny Labanter, and I'm a technical marketing engineer with ICE. In this video, we will deploy ICE 2.2 on a VM. We'll deploy ICE 2.2 on a VM, and we'll walk through the CLI configuration steps. We'll then view CLI configurations, and finally, we'll log into the graphical user interface and view ICE 2.2 dashboard. Let's begin. In this blank screen, I'm connected to my VM console, and I've set up my VM to boot from the ISO image. So let's go ahead and boot it up. When first booting, we're prompted with available boot options. We're going to choose option 1. Now for the sake of time, we're going to pause this video and allow ICE to install all the different packages. Once it's installed and restarted, we'll go into the setup mode in CLI and configure it. The ICE install is completed, and once rebooted, it goes into the setup mode. And to begin to the setup, we type in the word setup. We'll enter a host name. give it an IP address of our interface, subnet mask, default gateway, our domain name, primary name server, We'll enter an NTP server. Note that it's very important to have a DNS and NTP services running before installing ICE. I'll leave the system time zone as default. We're going to enable SSH. I'll leave the default username, which is an admin. We'll give it a password. And as you can see, the ICE will start bringing up first its network interface. It will check connectivity with the network. As you see, ICE is checking network connectivity, disk performance. At this stage, I'm going to pause the video and allow ICE to install the applications. ICE has completed the install. Let's now SSH into the device and check out the running config. Here we have our host name, the domain name we entered, the interface and IP address that we applied with the name server, default gateway and the time zone, our NTP server. Everything looks good. We can check out and see that we are synced with the NTP server. And that looks good. So let's now take a look at the graphical user interface and we'll log on to the admin portal. We'll enter our IP address here.
here we get a license warning. This is because we are using a license evaluation image. And here we're prompt with our ICE dashboard. We can go to the administrator and see the admin user that was created when we did the initial install. And that completes the install of ICE on a VM. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.